So yesterday guys, I had an issue with my socket, which ended up cracking. It ended up being like a Harbor Freight socket, I'm assuming, because a lot of my tools that are in my toolbox are from Harbor Freight. I'm like the type of guy, if I break it, buy a new one type. I went out to Home Depot and I went and bought Husky non-impact Husky brim sockets. And they're too big to fit in this hole, so you guys can see what I did. I taped it off. And now I'm going to go ahead and drum it. My buddy's going to sit there with the Husky vacuum over here and go ahead and look at that. Same brand Husky. Weird. Weird. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and drum this out just a little bit because I do have a 13 millimeter Craftsman socket that I did find in my toolbox. I did grind it down a little bit. I don't want to keep doing that and risk it because 90 pounds is going to go on this thing and I'm praying that it works. So I'm going to go ahead and grind that. Picking it this way and all the chips are flying out. One eternity later. Okay, I can say I have cleaned the head as well as I possibly can other than taking the head off and fully disassembling again, having it um, hot tanked and then reassembled, but I don't think I need to do that because I did my precautionary uh, measures before by taping off you know, as much as I could around here. So when I went ahead and I started drumming, you know, I had my buddy over here with the shop vacuum and, you know, I was just drumming and pretty much everything fell below or right around here. So I did as much cleaning as I possibly could. There are some ports over here in the time and chain side of the head that are actually are accessible with Q-tips. So that's what I used. I used a bunch of them. But now that that's good, we can go ahead and finish torquing down the head. 